Hello everyone, today I'm going to make a timeline of American history events using Microsoft Excel 2016. So the first thing we need to do is to get our title. And here is simply a Word document that I and, and uh, copied and pasted some information from the uh, internet, a little internet research. So this is events leading to the American Revolution. So this is going to be my title. I'm going to paste it in cell F right here. I'm going to click my mouse, my left mouse button, and I'm going to drag on both sides of the title here. Give me a little extra space on both sides. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to merge and center these cells. And I'm going to make the text bigger at about size 18. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a color for my title. So we'll go with this uh, gold accent color. We'll go with a the yellow gold theme. And our next thing we'll do is get a border. We can choose either just a thinner outside border or a thick outside border. I'm going to choose thick outside border. I think it looks better. And so now there's our title. Off to a good start. Next thing we need to do is get our years of our events on our timeline and over here on the left I opened up my clipboard and pasted these years from my Word document. All I did, well actually I copied them from my Word document and the clipboard will let you copy at least 24 things into the clipboard. So my first event is, my first year is 1764. So I'm going to click on this and it should go in that cell. Then very good. Now I'm going to hit my right arrow and just go up the list here. My right arrow, click 1768. 1772. Let's see. Here we go. 1773. 74. And 75. All right, very good. So those are my years. Our timeline. I'm going to click here and I'm going to highlight these years and I'm going to center them and I'm going to make them bigger. Make the, make the uh, numbers bigger, not bigger than the title. So we'll go 16 on this and we'll go with the appropriate yellow color for our yellow theme that we're using, maybe a little bit lighter on the yellow on this one. And we need a, not an outside border this time, but an all border. So now we have an all border. Very good. So there are years for our timeline. Next thing we need to do is get our short descriptions. Our short descriptions above our years. So again, here are my short descriptions on the left hand side that I copied from my Word document. Sugar Act is the first one, and I'll just use my right arrow to click over to the right. Stamp Act, my arrow, the next one. So we'll do this all the way across. And the last one was the shots fired at Lexington and Concord. Now again, this clipboard stuff on the left here, you don't have to do this. You could copy and paste this uh, from a Word document or maybe straight from your source uh, on the Internet. And again, this is just for classroom use, so we don't need to worry about plagiarism or anything like that in this case. All right, so below the Sugar Act, we need details, more details, uh, descriptions about what the Sugar Act was. So I'm going to go back to my Word document. Right here, I'm going to copy the details about the Sugar Act. I'm going to paste in these cells. Now, this overlaps. Don't worry about it. We're going to fix that in a minute. But so all we're going to do is go through, get the next details for the Stamp Act. And do this all the, way, all the way across here. And 
you could potentially type all this stuff if you wanted to. I'm just doing it this way to make it go faster. I'm on 1770. The Boston Massacre right here. Control C to copy. Control V and then Victor to paste. things and the last things shots fired again up top I have just a short title and below I have more details all right let's fix this let's go to the short titles going to highlight this here. Make sure you don't go too far over. So we're going to highlight these cells right here on the short title. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to angle counterclockwise. And I'm going to center this. So I'm going to click the center button right here. And I'm going to go to borders, except I don't want an outside border. I want all borders. So there's my all borders. And again, go back to the color theme of uh, yellow, go a little darker here, lighter, let's see which one, let's go with a darker yellow for the short titles of the events, and down below again is the more uh, details, so I'm going to click here and drag over to here and let go of my mouse, and what we're going to do down here is we're going to do our orientation is going to be rotate text up. And we're going to make sure we click wrap text. So we'll go to the next line. And now you can see how it's going on top of itself there. Now, a lot of details here. So I'm going to go with the smallest size font available. And I'm going to go back to the color theme of yellow. Right there. And if we needed to... Uh, pull the cell up a little bit, make it wrap a little on top of itself a little bit, we could do that. And you can see right here, there's a lot of details in a couple of these boxes here, maybe a few, little bit less details here. You could pull the, uh, pull the box up a little higher and make it wrap a little more. But I'm going to leave it a little longer because I have a lot of details right there. And make sure we have our all borders. I'm sorry, yeah, all borders right there. And there we go. There is a timeline of events leading to the American Revolution in a yellow color scheme. And I hope that this was helpful for you. Good luck on making your own timeline. Thanks for watching.